I can tell you is we're gonna find something there. Now, whether it's Mary or not, we're gonna find out. So this is that park. Mary, are you here? I'm not your Mary. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some items in the park, but I, like I said, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'm just gonna pick the ones up that I know where they are. So, if I need any more items, I guess I'll uh, take a look around in the park. There's another one here. So yeah, we're gonna have another interesting cutscene. You guys see that person over there? Yeah. This is one of my favorite cutscenes in the entire game. Mary? No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? No, my late wife. I can't believe it. You could be her twin. Your face, your voice, just your hair and clothes are different. Her name is Maria. I don't look like a uh, ghost. Feel how warm I am? You're really not Mary. I told you. I'm Maria. Sorry. I was confused. Where are you going? I'm looking for Mary. Have you seen her? Didn't you say she died? Oh yeah, three years ago. But I got a letter from her. She says she was waiting in our special place. And that's here? Anyway, I haven't seen her. Is this your only special place? Coming with me? You were gonna just leave me? No, but... With all these monsters around? No, I just... I'm all alone here. Everyone else is gone. I look like... Mary, don't I? You loved her, right? Huh. Or maybe... You hated her. Don't be ridiculous. So it's okay? Yeah, fine. So we just met my favorite character in Silent Hill 2, Maria. Yes, that's right, she's my favorite character in the game. A lot of people, I guess that a lot of people hate her, uh, but she's my favorite. I like it. So, but anyway, now she's gonna be following us. So, uh, yeah. For now, we're not gonna really have to worry about her um, getting attacked or anything else. But uh, in the next location, main location, we're actually gonna have to be careful. But yeah. Oh. Hello? There's some items here that I wanted. I want to check something over here. Uh, we still don't have the dock house. Usually, um, I don't. I don't remember how many times you have to complete the game. But usually, there'll be a dock house over there. You'll get a dock key, and if you use it in a certain door in a later location, you'll get the dog ending. 
so. Right now, we have to make our way to Pete's Bolorama. So that's exactly where we're going. But before that, we have a gas station over here. We have a few items here that I want. So, steel pipe. There's going to be something here as well. Health drinks. We're going to need these. Uh, and more over here as well. He's looking at something else. Handgun bullets, nice. Now I wonder if we have... Ah, we do! The Book of Lost Memories. The name comes from the legend of the people whose land was stolen from them. They call this place the Place of the Silent Spirits. By spirits, they meant not only their dead relatives, but also the spirits that they believed inhabited the, the trees, rocks, and water around them. According to legend, this was where the holiest ceremonies took place, but it was not the ancestors of those who now live in this town that first stole the land from these people. There were others who came before. In those days, this town went by another name, but that name is now hopelessly lost in the veils of time. All we know is that there was another name, and that for some reason the town was was abandoned by its residents. I wonder why. Alright, so over here is Pizza Bolorama, which is uh, where we need to go. And there's another item here that I want as well. I'll wait here. I hate bowling. I didn't come here to play, you know. Hurry back. Okay. Yes, ma'am. What'd you do? Robbery? Murder? Nah, nothing like that. Ha! Huh, you're just a gutless fat though. What'd you have to say that for? I thought you said the cops were out for you. No, I just ran because I was scared. I don't know what the cops are doing. But if you did something bad, why don't you just say you were sorry? I guess I run away a lot, too. It's no good. They wouldn't listen. Nobody will ever forgive me. Did you find the lady you're looking for? What's her name? Mary? What does he know about Mary? What does she know about Mary? Hmm. Go after Laura. Yeah. 
Really nice and relaxing music. I love the soundtrack in this game. I think it's one of the best. Did a little girl run out of here? Yeah, she was too fast for me. Aren't you gonna go after her? She was too fast for you? She's a kid. You have longer legs, Maria. Alright. So apparently she went this way. See if we can uh, catch her. And James is already tired. Come on, man. Now I know it's this way, but let me try to see if there's anything this way over here. Nope. Nothing. Excuse me, Maria. She went through there. Is there any other way? Yeah, there is. Right through there. Isn't it weird? Because even, even if Laura went through there, it would take her some time to actually be able to squeeze through here. James, you can't make it through there. So that would give you more than enough time to actually catch up to her. So, And pull her out of there. That's just me. No good. It's locked. Another location. This is a really quick location, just like uh, Pete's Bolorama. We're not going to be here for um, too long at all. Only going to be here for a few seconds. Yeah, the doors don't open. That's why I'm not trying to see if uh, if I can go through them. Now, there's a med kit over here that I want. Uh, it's actually on that side. Let me see. Uh, is there anything else here? No. Okay. We are in Heaven's Night. But uh, there's actually nothing else here for us. So, uh, like I said, quick location. But now... We're actually making our way to the next big location of the game. Where we're actually going to have to be for a while and solve some puzzles and stuff like that. Fight some bosses. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Brookhaven Hospital. All right. We have the map over here, which I'm going to take with me. Uh, now. Most of these doors in this location don't open. Not location, but on this floor. Most of the doors don't open, so... But uh, we need to be in this room first. We have a save point over there, but we have something here to read. Jack Davis. He has attempted suicide three times in the past for reasons unknown. Although he is normally a model patient who follows doctors and nurses' orders, he must be watched closely too to his past pattern of sudden and violent suicide attempts. Joseph Barkin. His illness seems to be rooted in the fact that he believes he is guilty of causing his daughter's death, 
His symptoms suggest a psychotic break in paranoid delusions, normally calm, but has a tendency towards violence when excited. Joshua Lewis, history of hospitalization as well as numerous assault, battery, and other violent offenses. He has a strong persecution complex and a tendency to solve things through violence, extreme caution necessary. All right. And there's Maria and a health drink. I'm going to go through here first before I save. Actually, I still have some time, so I don't know if I'm going to save now right away. Because hmm. this, for me, the hospital is the location where I'm going to struggle the most with. So I need to be very careful. The potential for his illness exists in all people, and under the right circumstances, any man or woman would be driven like him to the other side. The other side perhaps may not be the best way to phrase it. After all, there is no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders where reality and unreality intersect. It is a place both close and distant. Some say it isn't even an illness. I cannot agree with them. I am a doctor, not a philosopher, or even a psychiatrist. But sometimes I have to ask myself this question. It's true that to us his imaginings are nothing but the inventions of a busy mind. But to him, there simply is no other reality. Furthermore, he is happy there. So why, I ask myself, why in the name of healing him must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? That makes a lot of sense if you think about it. Something else is written by hand. I got the key from Joseph. It's probably the key to that box. Hmm. Purple bull key. All right. Now let's see. Should I save? Mm, not yet. I guess I'm gonna go explore a little bit more. The door, the door that we actually need to open is this one. It's locked. Uh, I'm not sure if we can already go through here. No, that one is locked too. Excuse me, Maria. So let's uh, make our way to the second floor. We're also going to get a new weapon there. A new gun. Now, like I said, now here in the hospital is where I'm going to have to be careful so Maria doesn't get hurt. Ah. Ow. I'm badly hurt. She's getting hurt too. She just got hit. All right. We have an important key item here. What's wrong? I just pricked myself. Are you okay? Yeah. Now, one of the thing is uh, when you're trying to shoot the nurses, sometimes Maria is going to be in front of them. So you have to be really careful so you don't shoot her. And that's why I didn't take a chance to shoot the other nurse because uh, I knew Maria was going to follow me. So I had to be careful because I didn't know if she's, she was going to be in front of the nurse. So, he's looking at the teddy bears and there's nothing else in this room. Alright. Come here, you. Okay, take care of her now. Now over here in this room there's another key item. Examination room, I think, uh, and there's nothing else. Ooh. Why did you spawn? You were dead. This one is locked. There's another one here. Actually, I don't think it's a nurse, I think it's a mannequin. 
Yeah, it is. James. All right. This floor is cleared. I thought there was going to be like a first aid or something in here. Guess I was wrong. Um Yeah, we can actually go through here. Thank God. Right, it's going to be another document with a code that we're going to need for later. All right. Uh, wait a minute, what's this? There's a sheet of carbon paper still stuck in the typewriter. I can still read the imprint left on it. I know... I know with the secret I'll give them something to deal with. This demon shelter is of no use anymore. It is my instrument. It must follow my orders, yes. The box will be useless. Now I must not forget... Forget it. 4872. That's good. It is the lowest... Now, I too will be free and you will serve me. I am a genius. No one can stop me. One can stop me. No one can stop me. Can stop. Can stop. No, no. Okay, this is really hard to read because there's barely any punctuation there. Um, Maria, can you... Thank you. Okay, no nurses here. There's another key. Thank you. And I believe there's nothing else in this room. Oh, crap. Uh, do I need to use a shot? No, I don't want to use a shot in these things. Kick it! Now we go. Bullets. Now we go. We're not doing that bad. So many nurses over here, man. No. Okay. Now I would try to uh, actually run past them, but I have Maria with me. That's the problem. Holy crap. Why do I have a feeling that they're going to try to hurt her? Where's the... We have to kick them quickly before uh, they decide to get up. Because they, they get up pretty quickly in, in hard mode, so... Okay, okay, uh, is it reloaded? Uh, no. Reload that. Alright, now... Yes, gonna need that. Die. There we go. Okay, so we're done with this uh, part over here. We cleared it out. There's no more items. I guess we can make our way to the first floor.
Now we're about to solve a puzzle that I'm never really sure how to really solve it. <laughs> so I just tried different combinations really. Uh, medical records on the desk, nothing particularly interesting. Okay. But uh, I'm still gonna try to solve it. Nonetheless, so uh, anything here? No. Okay, so this is what's important. This is part of the puzzle that we're gonna solve. The pin number this month is T. Last month it was X, and before that it was Z. But what are they going to do next month? That's all they can express with four numbers. Anyway, does the door to the patient wing really need to have its combination changed this often? So the combination this month is T. Hmm. Is there anything here? Food only, not drugs, okay. Guess not. So we should be able now to open this door. I'm running out of time. But let's see if I can actually do this. Is it this one? Or is it the one on the third floor that I need to open with the combination? I think it's the one on the third floor actually, so before we go there, I'm gonna save. I'm running out of time anyway, so... So I'll guess... I guess... Uh, no, I don't want to read these again. I guess I, I'll actually stop here for now, and I'll continue in the next session. Okay guys, so again, I hope you guys have been enjoying this so far. Um, I'm going to be struggling with this next part, but I hope I don't do that bad. So, uh, yeah, I know this game pretty well, so yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys have been enjoying so far, and I'll meet you here for the next session. Peace!